guys welcome back to my channel thank you for tuning in to another video if you are new here my name is Carrie. I am a certified personal trainer a fitness and wellness content creator a wife and a loving mother uh, if you're not so new here welcome back thanks for tuning in so before I get started if you don't mind please like subscribe turn on your notifications so you don't miss a beat especially now so today's episode is basically kicking off my weight loss series trigger warning i'm sorry i'm about to talk about weight loss so if it bothers you my apologies so i wanted to start my own weight loss series documenting my progress my journey what I eat, how I work out, so on and so forth. And today is the first episode. So I wanted to show you guys. So before, so to give you a little bit of context, I am about 5'8", and my sweet spot weight-wise would be about 170, 175. I've gotten as high as 210 which was like all right yeah we're done here you're you, yeah really in really in chick it's just 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 not no just not for me um i've gotten as high as 210 and i am sitting now around 194 so i want to get to about 180 and truth be told really it's like also fat loss so wherever when i get to a certain um body fat percentage whatever weight that's you know wherever whatever weight i am at at that time i'll see how i like it i just want to see where what i can push my body to do um and i really want you guys to tune into that i haven't decided on how often i'm going to do installments of this series um i may still do like my regular uh vlogs weekly and so on and then maybe tap in every, every couple of weeks and just show y'all my progress i haven't really decided that yet so anyway i thank you guys for tuning in to that so today i want to show you what i eat in a day um i woke up around two this morning i couldn't sleep well actually i was up it was like two in the morning i was like you know what let me go ahead and make me some overnight oats i mean not like i just had a super taste for them i just was like all right i think i might want to eat that for breakfast so let me go ahead and make them so i made uh just one batch of overnight oats and i'm gonna make turkey burgers i have a sweet potato in my toaster oven and i have a couple of eggs on the stove already so i'm gonna put a few things together so i'm gonna go ahead and make breakfast and then prep my lunch for the next two days so for my overnight oats i already have them prepped i like the consistency the first time i made them i made made it with a whole cup of almond milk and it was a little bit a little bit loosey-goosey than i would have preferred so i did just shy of a cup of almond milk, unsweetened. I also put a scoop of protein powder. I use Premier Protein um, Vanilla, and I put one scoop. I also put a tablespoon of chia seeds in that. So what I'm going to do now is just cut up my apple, and then I have some almonds that I wanna, tap, that I wanna top it off with. So let me go ahead and grab those. So funny thing about me I don't like I like eggs but I don't like hard-boiled eggs with the yolk so I don't like deviled eggs so I do not like I just don't I don't like deviled eggs and I remember I remember when I was working at the hospital I had a co-worker who was watching me make my eggs. So I would heat my, you know, I would boil them and then I would, you know, bring them to work and just like, you know, uh, put them in some hot water just to heat them up a little bit. 
and she saw me throwing the yolks away. And she was like, can I have those? <laughs> She's like, not the not the eggs, not the whole, just the yolk. I like the yolk by itself. That's, it's like, no, that's nasty. Needless to say, I did not give her. <laughs> now, someone will probably be, be like, you weren't going to eat them, so what's the big deal? No, that's just been something about me since I was a little kid. I just, uh -uh. I don't like stuff like that. Okay, so I'm going to be real honest with y'all. I'm having a whole personal summer right now. I'm having a whole hot flash. This little, whoo, chow. This little... Mm -mm. Sorry, I need a cutting board. I don't have one, so I'm just cutting up my apple real quick. Whew, child. I wish I had my fan down here because I am going through a whole moment. So anyway, that used to be something I could not stand even as a child. I just didn't like stuff like that. I remember one time, especially like my brother used to do that. He used to want my food. I mean, don't get me wrong. I wouldn't want it. I would not want it, but I wouldn't want him to have it because I would just think that was greedy. Like you're, you're just being greedy. As a kid, I was like that. And so one time we went to, we used to go out to eat all the time as a family. So it's me, my brother and my parents. And we used to go out to Saturday mornings all the time and go out to breakfast. And as a kid, I was a real, I'm sorry if this make, is making too much noise. As a kid, I was just a really picky eater. And, and I didn't eat a lot. And my brother wanted my bacon because I wasn't gonna eat it. I was finished, I was full. And my mother was like, well, give it to him. You're not gonna eat it. And I didn't want to. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put these apples. Quadri. Now I'll I'll share my food now. Like I'm about to give Quadri this half of my apple. He thinks I want him to do something, so he's asking. <laughs> he's he's answering from the top of the stairs. Do you want this apple? Yeah. Okay. You're welcome. <laughs> you taking out the stem and the seats. I shouldn't have did that. So anyway, she told my mother, getting back to the story, my mother told me to give my brother my bacon because I wasn't going to eat it. So, you know, why couldn't he have it? Don't y'all know I threw that bacon at him? I sure did. My dad laughed. My dad, yeah, my yeah, my dad laughed at me like this chick is crazy. My mother was pissed, of course, because for what we're in public, you know, whatever. I, I no, you're being greedy. You had your food. You don't need mine. Yeah. Anyway. And top my overnight oats with my almonds. I just love that, just for some crunch. I'll make sure that I'll um, put the macros, your macro information, in the uh, in the description for those who might want to know that information. So check and see if my eggs are ready. Eggs aren't ready just yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and start on my um, turkey burgers and my broccoli. So I'll put broccoli on this pan. Got this from Publix. 
it's microwavable. But I don't like doing that. So I'm gonna put these in the oven. Let me wash these off. My husband is so sweet. He is home today. So he is putting up some curtains for me that I've been wanting up for a little while. So I'm gonna go ahead and drizzle a little bit of olive oil. Okay. So this is real basic. There's gonna be salt, pepper, and garlic. to the game when it came to the George Foreman girl and a co-worker bought it from me for my birthday a few years ago and I absolutely love it okay so I'm just breaking this up into fours. So each burger would be a quarter. Let me just break it in half, but twice. Is that enough? Okay, that's good. So, Taking the trash out. Yeah. Okay. Use a little seasoned salt and a little bit of garlic. Oh my god! I love. I love this stuff. Y'all see the shades? Yeah, I'll open the beans for you. What's for dinner? 
Ah, Taco Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. Oh, you want me to open them now? Yeah. Oh, okay. Come over there. Table. Yes. Today and tomorrow. Tonight, where I'm having, as you just heard, tacos. But I'm gonna use. I'll show you guys the um, the wraps that I the, the tortillas that I'll be using. When I'm making meatballs, I'll make a few and then I wash my hands because I don't like the texture on my hands. And then I go back and make some more. That's as clean as I got it. I'll be all right. That's gonna drive me crazy, but I will be just fine. Okay. So I'm gonna just do these two eggs. And it'll probably be about time for me to flip my burgers. I really like to do simple, simple things. I just want to get it out the way. So I love easy, easy meal prep. I love easy recipes. Something that I ain't got to buy 50 level ingredients for. So I'm going to start, you know, looking, I'm, I'm definitely going to start looking on Pinterest and YouTube for just easy recipes. If you have any easy to follow recipes, um, 30 minute meals or less, you know, please feel free to drop those in the comments. I really would appreciate them. I'm, I'm open to trying new things. I don't eat beef, I don't eat pork, so, you know, you can keep that. I like these first because they're the easiest. 
So in order to count my macros and my uh, caloric intake, I use my fitness pal. I used to not want the premium one because I was using it when they would give what's premium now, they used to get for free. Granted, that might have been five years ago. But still. But I do like the um the premium features, so I just went ahead and and bought it. So I like my Oh damn, I'm making a mess. I like my oats. I'm telling you, I used to be real leery about these overnight oats. Like the texture, like what? It's cold, but truth be told, I don't like them. This is the only way I, I've had them with the with the apples. But I'm I'm really open to trying with different fruits, like you know, blueberries and strawberries and such. Hmm. I love apple. Excuse me. I'm gonna talk with my mouth full. I love Granny Smith apples. My favorite. I don't like any other kind of apple. And Granny Smith. Oh my god. Mm. This is good. My backyard is like street woods. There really is no backyard. I'm like, woods. So I see deer. We've seen a fox. It's not that deep wooded because I can see the other houses on the other street, but it's woodsy enough for me that I'm not going back there. My neighbors, they feed the deer. Like they have like I can see it right now. They have like a a bird feeder or you know something attached to a tree. And they feed it up, they, they fill it up. And I'm telling you, within minutes, you'll see about three or four deer. I'm not gonna do that. No, thank you. Okay. Okay. These burgers should be done. So I'm gonna grab them. And I had put my sweet potato in the toaster oven a while ago so that's been done so I'm gonna grab that Tearing this up. Mm. My broccoli is done. Alright. 
two burgers. And I'm gonna split this sweet potato in half. I'll probably cut it in fourths because it's a, it's a pretty big sweet potato. I'm plain Jane. I do not have to put, I don't put anything on my sweet potato. And it tastes very good by itself. Go ahead and take that little peel off. about burning myself at all apparently. All right. Eh, I don't know how I want to place this. That's all right. Probably should have got a three con a three contain uh three compartment one. And this one will work just fine. I don't want to waste any of this so That's good. I'm going to show you guys um, my meal prep for my lunch for the next two days. It is, okay, and sweet potatoes, two turkey burgers, and some broccoletti. If, if you don't remember me telling you guys, I'm not a super, oh gosh. There we go. I'm not a huge fan of meal prep. And I used to do, you know, Sunday meal prep and I'd have it for the whole week. And I would um, have used third Friday as my like flex day to eat out or whatever at work. It was still try to, you know, I was still trying to have it as healthy as I could. But by when? By like Wednesday? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I'm, I'm bored. I mean, not even bored. I just don't want that. I just, I just don't want it. It's not even being bored. Let me throw these in the refrigerator. And I'm going to finish my breakfast, change my clothes, and then we're going to head to the gym. Um, I'm going to try to record as much as my, uh, as much as of my workout as possible. Um, my gym is not really content creator friendly. So I just try to be out of the way. So I don't want to, I don't want anyone feeling uncomfortable or thinking that I'm trying to record them because I'm really not. Um, so I just try to get a corner and do my thing. So I'll try to do most of my workout in this corner so you can see most of it. So. Yeah, I got the spot that I wanted. All right, look at how damn junky this is. Hey. Oh, doing too much.
consultation at three o'clock and a session at 3 30 so i am about to grab one of my meals and put it in a microwave Whew. while that is warming up i grabbed a um a protein shake it has pure protein it has 30 grams of protein and one gram of sugar, 140 calories. So I actually do, and it, it, it's chocolate. It actually tastes good. This is, I'm gonna try to, I don't know, I got a little bit of time. Like I said, I don't put anything on my, um, this, oh Lord, this might be a little too hot. I don't put anything on my sweet potato. I'm all right with the plain. Um, when I eat sweet potato fries, though, of course, I mean, I put some, some salt on it, but, you know. This probably would taste fine with a little bit of salt on it just to bring out more of the flavor of the sweet potato. So, this is probably gonna keep me full for a while. That's fine. <laughs> And I'll probably just get only one burger down. But um, I have, how many sessions do I have? I have four sessions this evening. And so I won't finish training until about, my last session is at 6.30. So I won't be finished training until about 7.15. And I'll shower and, and so on and so forth. And then I'll show you guys my um my tacos that I'm gonna make um this evening. So if you see this, you know what time it is. It's been a long day. I'm tired, I'm hungry. So it's time to make these tacos, and then I'm going to bed. So let's get busy. So I made the ground turkey for the tacos earlier for my family and they did leave me some that looks like a little, looks like a lot. But although I've had a lot of protein today, I didn't have a lot of calories. So I'm going to have two. I don't know if I'll be able to eat two, but that's going to be my attempt. So let me go ahead and start off with the tortillas. They are the Mission Carb Balance. They're keto friendly. They have about three net carbs, 60 calories. So I have two of those. I warmed them up and put the meat on there, of course. All right. So I got this uh, Pico de Gallo. I got this from Publix. I get the mild because the medium and the spicy just uh they don't agree with me so i like to just put about two tablespoons of pico de gallo on my taco i love pico de gallo i'm telling you ah, it's some goodness oh, maybe look up a recipe for some to make it make it fresh but just not today. I had some leftover spinach from my um, chicken Caesar. No, 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 no. No, I had a, a veggie egg scramble yesterday. So this is my leftover spinach from that. So I'm going to just break that up. Just use that instead of lettuce. These look so big. We'll see. We'll see how I, 
we'll see how it goes. Um, I bought, I like getting the, what is this, a four pack? The four pack of uh, chunky guacamole. I like, again, I'm not making it. You wanna, you know, I'm good. Semi homemade. So let's I'll just about a tablespoon on there. Oh, okay. Whatever. Hmm. I would have never thought that I like that I would like guacamole. I love this stuff. And instead of like Mexican cheese, I got triple cheddar. This is left over from Thanksgiving. Cause they would buy one, get one at Publix. And I bought about 12 bags of cheese. No, I didn't need all that. But I knew it was, good. It was gonna get used, so well, whatever. I love cheese. It was on sale. Whatever. So, this is what my dinner looks like. And I may, don't know if I have, I don't have enough room. But I bought some, some Nature's Valley protein bars. They have about 10, 10 grams of protein. And seven grams of sugar you know whatever i'll be okay this will cure my little sweet tooth so i'm gonna grab one of these now look what i did find too i'm not gonna have this today not that i'm aware of but the skinny girl popcorn it's the bags are 160 calories just Okay, I'll take that. So it's already back. I mean, that's the serving size. I can't wait to eat that. I love popcorn. So, anywho, I'm about to go down. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out this vlog. And I thank you guys for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and turn on your notifications. Until next time, peace.